Hello and welcome back to another episode of Google Sheets learning series. In this episode, we will be covering some of the topics related to editing in Google Spreadsheets. In this demonstration, we will cover how to add, remove, name and rename sheets inside a Google Spreadsheet. We will also look at how to clone or copy a sheet inside the same spreadsheet. And finally, we will end the video by looking at how we color the sheet tabs to make them look more obvious. So let's begin. In case you desire to follow along with me, make sure you click on the link in the video description that will allow you to make a copy of this spreadsheet and follow along with me. Let's begin. First thing that I am going to do in this one is add few sheets inside this spreadsheet. How do I insert a sheet? There are a few simple ways. I can press insert and new sheet. Remember the sheet will be inserted right after the sheet in which you are presently active. For example, I am active on editing 1.1. So if I click on new sheet on insert menu, it will insert a sheet right after that sheet. If I go back to that editing sheet and click on insert and new sheet or shift F11. That's the shortcut. Remember every menu item, not every menu item, most of the menu items will have shortcuts associated with them. You can look inside menus and look toward the right. That shortcut will be listed there. Just try to practice and use them quite often so that you can remember them. This will help you improvise your productivity. So for now, I'm not going to click on that new sheet option. Instead, I will just stay on that sheet and press shift F11 on my keyboard. That's the shortcut. Now see the new sheet has been inserted right after the editing 1.1 sheet. If I stay on this sheet 10 and I press shift 11 one more time, it will insert a new sheet after sheet 10. That is sheet 11. See that? But if I select sheet 9 and then press shift 11, it will insert sheet 12 after sheet 9. That's the new sheet. So that's how adding the sheets work. You can also use this little control on the lower left side of your spreadsheet. That is that little plus symbol that will help you to add new sheets. The more you click on it, the more sheets will be added. That's how we add sheets inside Google Spreadsheets. Now let us take a look at how we remove the sheets inside Google Spreadsheets. You can click on that little arrow button and select delete from the menu options. If I click on that delete option, it will give me a heads up pop up saying that, are you sure? Would you like to delete the sheet? <laughs> Just to make sure that this was not an accidental click. If that was an accidental click, you can press escape on your keyboard that will make that pop up go away and your sheet will not be deleted. Or if I just go back and click delete again, I can click on cancel. And if I am certain that I want to get rid of that sheet, I click OK. So that's how we delete the sheet. Now let us take a look at how we name the sheet. Sheet 10, sheet 11, these are not so obvious names. They, these names do not denote anything meaningful to me. So instead of that, I will write a name that is I will double click on that sheet 10 and it will enable that editor option on that particular sheet tab. Now I type the name for that sheet as sales data. And now when I'm done entering the name, I press enter on that area and that name will be entered for that sheet tab. If I want to rename the sheet, I can simply double click and I can enter the desired name. Let us try naming the other sheet that is sheet 11. Look what happens if I enter a similar name of an existing sheet tab. For example, I already have sales data in this spreadsheet. If I enter sales data one more time, see that thing, that red border that is cruising around that sheet tab name. That is an indicator for me to tell me that, hey, that name already exists. Try another. But if I just do it anyway, press enter. See that it says there was a problem. The sheet name already exists. Try another one. If I just click OK, it will come back to the editor, allowing me to continue the naming of that sheet. So I will simply say sheet data new and press enter. So that is how I enter name and either name or rename a sheet inside a Google spreadsheet. How about copying a spreadsheet? 
We now know how to add, remove, name and rename the sheets inside a spreadsheet of Google. Now let us take a look at cloning or copying a sheet. In order to copy a spreadsheet, I'll just go to this editing 1.1 and I want to make a copy of the sheet. The most easy and recommended way is you click on this little button that is little arrow and you click on duplicate. That will create a duplicate of this spreadsheet or, or this sheet into this spreadsheet. So you see this editing 1.1 that was copied over into a new sheet. But if you notice, there is this little string added to the name that is helping us to indicate that this is a copy of editing 1.1. And now I can simply go ahead and rename it. A uh, copy of editing 1.1 doesn't make much of a sense to me. So I will simply get rid of that copy of hit backspace. And there is a space uh, in the start. So I'll just get rid of that space and instead of 1.1, I'll call it 1.2 and press enter on the keyboard. So this is how we copy or clone a sheet inside the same spreadsheet. Now we know how to copy a sheet inside the same spreadsheet. How about we look at the last part of this demonstration that is coloring the sheet tabs. Coloring a sheet tab is quite easy and straightforward process. It will not color the entire sheet tab, but it will add a thin border toward the end of the sheet tab so that it becomes more obvious for you when you are working with a large workbook. So here we go. I go ahead and click on that little arrow, move my cursor on the top. Here I have changed color options. Now I will select a blue color. That's my favorite. That's added to the end of the sheet tab. Now if I want to color the other sheets, all I have to do is click on that little arrow, move toward the change color and then my second favorite color that is a deep red or a maroon color. So that's how you can keep adding colors to your sheets. It's easy. Practice as much as you can. The more you practice, the more you will retain. That's the formula for enhancing your learning. If you haven't already, click on that little subscribe button, like the video and click on that little bell to receive updates from my channel. Thank you so much. Stay happy, stay lovely. Until next time.